Okay, for the train body, let's put a sketch on the front face, the front plane, and let's draw a circle centered at the origin. It would be a three quarter inch radius or an inch and a half diameter. And then let's just sketch a rectangle that is a little bit below that. The rectangle should be two inches by 0.875 inches high. And then we're gonna need to get that fully dimensioned to be centered below the circle that I drew. So the distance from the center would be one inch and the distance from the bottom edge is 1.375 inches. Okay, and even though we have those overlapping profiles, on shape is okay with that. So then we can finish our sketch and let's extrude all those shapes and let's extrude them instead of coming forwards, let's extrude them backwards a distance of five and a half inches. Okay, so that would be the full length of the train. Let's go to the back side. On the back side, let's put a sketch. And we need a center point below the origin. And that dimension needs to be 0.375 inches above the bottom of the train. And because it was constrained directly below the origin with that dotted orange line or dashed orange line, it's fully constrained. And then from there, I'm going to go ahead and drill my hole for the hitch. Um, hole is not going to go through. I want it to be blind and we want it to be quarter inch diameter and we want the depth to be a half inch deep. Okay. Okay, the reason I drew that to get the rest of the train body, I'm going to need to put a sketch on the back face and I want to be able to use that center point from that hole because that's how the back side is dimensioned. Um, I want a center point arc. I'm going to grab my center point arc tool and let's make sure we center it at the same point as the hole. And then I'm just going to come out and click and draw. And that radius is supposed to be 2.35 inches. And then let's go ahead and draw some vertical lines, make sure it's vertical and connects to the arc. Escape gets you out of the tool. And then I can trim off those tags because I did draw the arc a little bit too long. Okay, so once I have that, I can finish the sketch, extrude, pick that profile, and let's go a distance of 1.75 inches. Okay, so there's the overall shape of the train. Okay, let's do the cutout on the back part of the train. So we'll put a sketch on the side face and let's draw a rectangle, making sure it's on the edge. And I want the rectangle when I draw it to be a quarter inch by one inch. And then let's use the center point arc tool. And I wanna make sure I get the center point and get the midpoint of that side. So then from there, there's my full center point arc, and that's fully constrained other than the height. So let's add a dimension from that center point to the bottom, 1.75 inches. Okay, finish the sketch, do a cut, extrude, remove, and instead of blind, we want to do remove all. Next, we'll put a sketch on the side. Let's put some and dimension some center points to drill some holes. So the distance to the back side should be one inch and the distance between those two should be three and a half inches. And the height above the bottom of the train should be a half an inch for both of them. Uh, this is one of the dimensions if you don't get this right um, where these holes are drilled if they're not perfect, if it's not fully constrained, the train will not animate. So then I can finish that sketch. I'll use the hole tool. Instead of doing a custom hole, I'm going to look for an ANSI dimensioned hole. Um, I'll select my two center points and I'm drilling a tapped hole. And the hole note that we have is that they are quarter 20 threads. So that's why I selected ANSI, quarter 20 threads. And the depth of it, see where is the depth? 
depth of it needs to be 0.875 inches deep. Okay, so I could sketch and drill holes on the other side, but I actually I want to mirror those holes. So let's come up here and pick the mirror tool. And I don't want to mirror the whole part. I want to mirror a feature. So the feature I want to mirror is the hole. So I can select that by pointing in the browser or pointing at the part. And then you're going to have to pick your mirror plane. So once I select my mirror plane and then hit the green check mark, now I have holes on both sides of the train body. Okay, next let's drill the holes on the front. Pretty simple to do. We just need three points and some dimensions. So let's make sure that uh, point in the middle is 0.625 above the bottom. The other points are 0.125 above the bottom. And the distance to the side is 0.375, and that would be the same for both. Okay, uh, if needed, if you miss getting it in the middle, make sure that your part is in the middle at one inch. Now mine, notice that dimension shows up gray, that is a reference dimension. So we can now finish that sketch. And now using the hole tool, this will not be an ANSI, it'll just be a custom hole. We're going to pick all three diameter of 0.125 and a depth of 0.125. Next, in order to drill the hole for the stack on the top, I need a piece of paper to draw on. So that requires me to create a work plane. So I'm going to select the work plane tool uh, and I'm going to select plane point. I want a plane at that point and then I have to give it an orientation. So I want it horizontal but I want it at that location. So I hit my green check mark and you see it was orange and now it's black. That means that my creation of my work plane was successful. And now you can see I have a work plane that is tangent at that point to the top of the trained body. So once I have that, now I want to make sure that I'm drawing on that piece of paper, the work plane I just created. Of course, I want to make sure I'm lined up above the origin or above that point and the distance to it, 0.875 inches. So once I have that, now I can drill my hole. So this will just be a simple hole. Select the point. The diameter is a half an inch and the depth is a quarter inch. So now the train body is done other than the fillets. Okay, finally, let's add some 0.1 fillets to all the edges except the whole edges. And you gotta be careful when you're making these selections. So you're probably best off doing a handful at a time and then going back and, and slowly adding additional ones. Because it's real easy to select an edge that you didn't mean to select. So I think I'll put a few of them on there. I'll apply all of those. And then I'll just keep going. Okay, that looks pretty good. And of course, when you are complete, make sure that you rename your part so they're not all called part one, part two, part three, and give it a unique file name. So I'll just name it train body.